Welcome to French Conversations for Beginners. Learn everyday French from Janina, the language teacher, and Joël from France. Welcome to French Conversations for Beginners. Uh, in tonight's episode, we have a very special guest. She is from Paris, but she is actually talking to us right now from Shanghai. Salut! <laughs> Bonjour Janina, ça va? Oui, oui, et toi? Ça va bien, merci. Um, okay, so could you tell us just a bit about um, your what you do and um, your you know you, you you teach classes online, but I think you teach classes in person in China. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually, I I started to to teach online. Uh, I started on a website called Aitokai, and then uh, I started when I was living in Korea at that time, like three years ago, around okay. three years ago, and then I decided to uh, study to become a professional teacher, because at that time I was just a tutor, and so I, I went back to France, and uh, I got my diploma, and then I moved to Shanghai, so now I'm living there for two years, and I'm teaching online, and also I'm teaching face-to-face. Uh, -face okay. Here. Yeah. In Where were you living in Korea? I was living in Seoul. Okay, I lived, I, I, I was an English instructor at Sejong University for oh, yeah nice. for year some years and then I was in Japan teaching Spanish after that so oh wow okay wow yeah so, so I visited Shanghai beautiful place I loved it oh uh, yeah, yeah Shanghai is really is lively and it's always there's always something to do I love it that's great okay so oh I have a question for you um uh, before we move on mm -hmm. to to the topic, which tonight is going to be aperos, which we'll talk about in a second. But um, mm -hmm. what's the ch what was the cheese situation for you like in Korea? Oh. It had to be terrible. <laughs> it's really hard to get some cheese there uh, in Seoul. We have some cheese, but I guess for me it's American cheese. Because yes. <laughs> in some recipes, they really like to mix the Korean food with some cheese. But for me, it's not real cheese. So... Uh, you know, we like in France, we like to eat the cheese with just bread yes. or just cheese like this because it's it's it has a strong flavor. Right. So yeah. we don't need to mix in, in, in potatoes or things like that. So I didn't eat any cheese when I was in Korea, because if if you buy cheese there, it was really, really expensive. And at that time I was totally broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't I can... buy any cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can but, imagine. You know, you have some good Korean food, so it, it was fine. But yeah, did love... you find any cheese there? Um, I loved, I'm sorry, could, I'm sorry, could you say that again? Did, could you find any cheese in, well, in when you were no. living in Korea? And it, like you said, it was only American cheese. And the one thing that I used to like was, I love the Shin Ramen. That's my junk oh, yeah. food and if you go mm -hmm. to the base they mix it with american cheese it's pretty awful but you're right you can't mm -hmm. find french cheese in uh in seoul unless you want to pay a yeah. lot of money for yeah, it. yeah pay a lot of money and and when you uh when you know friends and you know that you go to the supermarket and you have dozens and dozens of different uh, different type of cheese and it's really not that expensive so you feel <laughs> you feel sad <laughs> yeah oh i'm sure i'm sure okay so can i ask you about so is shanghai is it easier to get cheese in shanghai um you have a very big french community here for a long time so it's still expensive but now you have you can find some companies they can deliver to your house so it's it's getting cheaper and cheaper to get some some real. I'm talking about real French cheese or Italian cheese or from Europe. So right. uh, it's easier than so. I would say it's definitely easier, but it's definitely expensive. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, you can find cheese also in some restaurants. So it's quite it's quite easy now. Okay. And I was living in Shenzhen before in South China. So. Uh, in Shenzhen, you could also find cheese, but it was uh, in 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 the supermarket. It was really hard to find. So oh, yeah. yeah, you need to find some restaurants. Okay, so you said there's a big French community in Shanghai. So mm, do you yeah. do you meet up with them for apparel? 
Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I have some some French friends, and we go for apéro. Uh, or, but you know, apéro now, even in French restaurant in Shanghai, because you have a lot, uh, you can find even foreigners they like to do that because it's becoming like it's a little bit like a happy hour where you will eat a little bit and drink. So yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. It's you can find a lot of restaurant doing aperitif. Okay, nice, nice comparison. So for those of you who are, you know, this is a course for beginners. So Aperho is basically French happy hour, and yeah, I would say is uh, yeah, yeah, like a happy hour. Except we have that culture to do outside, but also in your house. Yes, this is definitely. Sometimes you just invite your friends, and you will tell them, "Okay, I'm doing an aperitif uh, on Friday." So it's really normal to invite for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna um, we're a couple of friends here. Uh, we're going to do the dialogue so that you guys can uh, learn all the words and phrases about, um, you know, aperitif and about looking for a bar. Okay. So mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get started. All right. So, j'ai très soif après avoir ton marché. N'y a-t-il pas de bar dans ce quartier Si, je crois qu'il y en a en, au coin de la rue. Vous avez raison. Le voilà. Il n'a pas l'air mal et il n'est pas loin de les meubles. Bonjour, mesdames. Une table pour deux? Voici. Prenez-vous un apéritif? J'aimerais un pastis. Voulez-vous des cacahuètes? Oui, s'il vous plaît. Et du saucisson. Merci. All right. So, obviously, our guest has better French pronunciation than I do. I'm <laughs> still working on it. Um, I'll be working on it. It's, it's good. It's good. It's my whole good. life. <laughs> so, my partner is French. So, so therefore, um, I, 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 got, I got to cheat a little bit on learning French. Okay, so let's break it down to the, the words and phrases we have. So mm -hmm. how do you say, I'm very thirsty? J'ai très soif. And then after having walked so much. Après avoir tant marché. Okay. Was I, was I wrong doing the liaise there? I think I said après avoir. Is that okay? Uh, oh, you can say it. It sounds a little bit more... How would, you, would I say that? Uh, it, sometimes the liaison, you would sound more formal when you would say that, right. après avoir ton marché. But it's not a mistake. You can do it. Okay. Okay, great. So then this next line, so I believe you asked me, um, is not is there not a bar in this neighborhood? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. N'y a-t-il pas de bar dans ce quartier? So how do you say neighborhood? Ce quartier. Okay, so Un this quartier neighborhood. Is a neighborhood. Okay, mm -hmm. so in this neighborhood is? Dans ce quartier. All right. And so the next one I said, instead of saying, we haven't mm -hmm. covered this in this course, I said C, which mm. I'm, I'm saying, yes, there is basically, right? Yeah, yeah. You're saying C because before I said, I said like a negation. Right. So you're trying to tell me basically we. Oui, Yes, but yeah. because I said a negation before, you just say si. Yeah. Si, je crois. So when you want to do that, instead of saying we, oui, you're going to say si. And so then, mm -hmm. I, I think or I believe. Mm, je crois. And that there is one. Qu'il y en a un. On the corner of the street. Au coin de la rue. Okay. And then how do you say you are right? Vous avez raison. And then it's, I think you said basically the equivalent of here it is, right? But it doesn't translate mm. exactly. Yeah, that's right. Le voilà. Okay. Le voilà. And the the next one is, ooh, how, how would you translate this exactly? There's, um, it's not far from the, there's a, basically there's a, il n'a pas l'air mal. How do you say that in English? Ah, Il n'a pas l'air mal. I would say it doesn't look too bad. That's right. Il n'a pas l'air mal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Il n'a pas l'air mal. Avoir l'air is to look like. Avoir l'air. Okay. Mm -hmm. Il n'a pas l'air mal. 
Okay, can you can you say that that um, that phrase for us? So so it doesn't look so bad, and there's one not far from the building. Mm -hmm. Il n'a pas l'air mal et il n'est pas loin de l'immeuble. Okay, so so far. How do you say far? Loin. And how do you say loin. not far? Mm, pas loin. Okay. Pas loin. Okay. And so then we were welcomed and they said... Mm -hmm. Bonjour, mesdames. A table for two. Une table pour deux. Here you are. Voici. All right. And then I asked you, are you having an aperitif? Mm. Prenez-vous un aperitif? And then you ordered one. You said, I would like... Yeah. A Mm, un pastis. J'aimerais un pastis, which is a, <laughs> um, a common beverage in the south of France. Un yep. pastis. J'aimerais un pastis. Okay. And you, then I asked you, I literally asked you in this next one, it's, it's really funny, this word, cacahuete, it's, we use the same yeah. word almost in Spanish. And for <laughs> us, it's peanuts. I know it comes from Mexico, this yeah. word. And, but it doesn't just mean peanuts in French. So I said, do you want some, like, snackies? But literally, it was peanuts. So mm. could you say that? Mm. Voulez-vous des cacahuètes? Okay. And so, but even though that literally means peanuts, it's not peanuts. Mm -hmm. It could be peanuts, but it can be any little snacky things at a bar, right? Mm, yeah, usually, yeah, usually we call it for peanuts. But uh, if we, we have another kind of, uh, not so we will say pistache, pistache. Okay. But usually, what you will find in in uh, most of the the bar is cacahuètes. Okay, and then you said yes, please. Oui, s'il vous plaît. All right, and then I asked you and some sausage. Mm, et du saucisson. And then you said thank you. Merci. And so, would you say saucisson? That's that's popular. A parody. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, it's basically the basic would be you have a, a so wine, du vin, and then some, some beverage like pastis, uh, and then some chips, uh, like potato chips. Yeah. So we call it the chips en yeah. français. <laughs> and then you will have this, like, is it dry sausage? So we call it saucisson, saucisson. And it's, it's like very popular. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so saucisson. And then if you're in the bar, probably you will eat some cacahuètes. Okay. And so you you told us that you're from Normandy, from the north of France. Uh, my father is from Normandy, yeah. Okay. So there you have a, a type of alcohol. I really like it, but it's, it's a little bit strong, but we call it calva or calvados. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like uh, whiskey, isn't mm -hmm. it, almost? Um... Mm, it's not that strong, I would say, but Calvados is made with like apple, so it. it's it's yeah, it's like apple brandy we call it apple brandy. So it's it's quite special. Mm, it's okay. nice. Okay. Or it's you have also south south of France, you you will have some um, I say pastis. Pastis is very common, like near Marseille, you will see some pastis. Okay. All right. And so you said your father's from Normandy. Where did you grow up? I grew up near Lyon. Lyon. So south of France, so near Lyon. You, we, I mean, aperitif is in all France. So, but, but south of France, usually we eat more food. Yeah. <laughs> so so if, if you tell your, your friends and they are from the south of France, probably you're going to eat a lot. <laughs> okay. And you will not be well, yeah, no, I, hungry I know. anymore. So, so, Joël, my partner is from Saint-Étienne, so... Oh, okay. It's really near so where I was born. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just in Lyon yeah, yeah. very recently. Okay. Um, mm. So, so if, if people want to learn authentic, real French from you, um, can we go and connect with you on italki? Mm, sure, sure. You can find my profile on Artokai. Um, you can you can find me there. My name is Lori, so L O R E, L O R E. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, I want to thank you. Merci beaucoup for. Uh, mm, merci beaucoup. Teaching merci us all beaucoup. about um, aperitif in French. Mm, it was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir. Merci.
Au revoir. Au revoir à bientôt. For more resources on learning and teaching languages, to get on our mailing list, or to get the workbook for this course, be sure to visit reallifelanguage.com slash reallifelanguageblog. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to subscribe and leave a rating.